Over the weekend, Pakistan was hit by a tragedy. 22 tourists froze to death in a blizzard. It was horrific. Now, some details have emerged and the picture looks worse. Let me show you where this happened first. The town of Marie in North Pakistan, located 60 kilometers from Islamabad, built by the British as a resort town in the 19th century. Today, it's one of the most popular hill stations in the country. And this is where the tragedy unfolded. Over the weekend, hundreds of travelers were on their way to Marie. They were caught in a snowstorm, stuck in their cars in freezing temperatures. No official warning of a blizzard, they say, and no help from authorities once it struck. Here's an eyewitness account. They made videos showing how a difficult situation became worse. The locals apparently scattered snow all over the roads and then sought money from stranded tourists to get their vehicles towed uphill. Watch this. This is freshly scattered from the are some locals who have a brand new Jeep, blue and they have chains and they have इस पॉइंट पे यहां खड़े हो जाते हैं सारे <coughs> सॉरी अभी मैं गिरने लगा था इस पॉइंट पे यहां खड़े हो जाते हैं सारे आगे और ये जहां जीप खड़ी हुई है यहां पे जो गाड़ी आती है वो यहां पे स्किड करके या इधर फंस जाती है या इधर फंस जाती है फिर वो 5000 रुपया 4000 रुपया लेके उस गाड़ी को टो करके ऊपर ले जाते हैं The blizzard lasted for several hours. Unable to bear the extreme conditions, a lot of these tourists set out to find shelter. They decided to leave their cars behind. They walked uphill towards Marie, in search of the nearest hotel, perhaps. They found quite a few of them. But all of them had absurdly high fares, 50,000 Pakistani rupees for one night, 70,000 according to one account. 50,000 is close to $300. That's a lot of money by Pakistani standards. Eyewitnesses say this unusually high rate was aimed at fleecing the trapped tourists. The prices are not usually this high. They were increased by the hotel owners to exploit the situation to capitalize on the misery of stranded tourists. Listen to this. Rooms के पचास पचास हजार रुपए rent है चालीस हजार पचास हजार हमने चालीस हजार में rent लिया चालीस हजार में एक दिन का एक दिन का सर एक दिन का चालीस हजार हजार रुपए सर और ये rent है पहले कमों से उसके बाद कमों के बाद मजबूरी थी तो वो चार बेड का room था हमने mattress मांगा उन्हें mattress भी नहीं दिया That's a lot of money and not everybody could afford to pay such money. A lot of people were compelled to spend the night in their cars. The next morning, at least 22 of them were found dead, frozen to death inside their vehicles. Among the dead were 10 children. We have the images, but they're, they're too chilling. We don't want to show them. Post-mortem reports suggest that they died due to extreme cold and carbon monox monoxide poisoning from exhaust fumes. Now the question is, who deserves the blame for these deaths? The weather? The Pakistani government for not warning and then not helping the tourists? The locals who tried exploiting them or the hotels who showed absolute apathy to their condition. A fierce debate has begun and a hashtag is trending on Pakistani social media. Hashtag boycott Marie. Pakistanis from all walks of life say that they will boycott this tourist site to bring the hoteliers to task, to teach them a lesson. They want the government of Pakistan to find them for trying to loot desperate people who came looking for help. The Pakistani government is also being blamed for the tragedy. It's being accused of not issuing timely alerts. The families of the victims say that despite Islamabad being just 60 kilometers away from Mari, authorities did not step up with help until the next morning. As a tourist, we didn't any get any type of alert from the society, from the government, from the Google, from the news, from the weather. This is a family of six, residents of Rawalpindi. The head of the family, Shehzad Ismail, his wife and four children aged 5 to 10 years, they died. If we see the whole incident, the present government, the Punjab government and the commissioner and deputy commissioner of Rawalpindi are responsible for this mishap. The controversy is getting bigger. This is what greed can drive you to. There is massive uproar on social media, as there should be. Pakistani celebrities are slamming the government. They're calling upon Imran Khan, the prime minister, to fix accountability. But last we checked, instead of taking matters into his own hands, he was busy slamming India over the treatment of minorities. 
says a lot about the priorities of the Pakistani Prime Minister. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.